Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana has now reached formally, actually. Yesterday it was almost there. Now we've actually formally reached, officially reached that next upside target that I highlighted in the recent weeks as first ideal target for the third wave. So we talk about this third wave here, yeah, in yellow. Um, <clears throat> and the idea was that after a 1-2 setup formed where the wave two bottomed in September this year, this third wave should at least reach in our blue Fibonacci support area the 100, not the 100, the um, 208 dollar level because this 138 percent extension it's an important sentiment level and to really consider something a viable third wave I wanted to reach that 138 percent extension. Yeah, it's not absolutely a must or in, you know but we can trust these diagonal patterns more if the third wave reaches really that key level and we've now reached it okay and um, there's a bit of a rejection I'm gonna take a look at the microstructure in a minute it's just important to understand that um, of course you know further upside extensions are possible but the overall largest thesis by the way this is the bigger picture here the longer time frame chart the overall thesis is that a larger degree fourth wave bottomed in August and we're now on our way into that white target area up there. The roadmap is showing that clearly. And these levels haven't changed in months. So talk about round about $368 plus. 368 to 489. These are the next upside um, all-time high targets. I'm not telling you that a top will definitely form there. But I can tell you that it is quite likely that an all-time high will form in that region. At least it's an area where I'm going to watch for signals. And it will already de it will also depend on the um, waves, the structure, right? So, for example, if we get there and this third wave is extending, and we haven't even seen a four five pattern, then it will become likely that we see further upside extensions, or if the subwave structures, uh, in you know, uh, extend in unusual ways. So, so for for now, you know, this is all going according to the roadmap, um, but the yellow wave count is now officially full. But as you can see, there's a green one as well on the chart. The green one, as explained in the last videos, is showing us the potential for direct upside extensions. And for those who watched previous videos, you already know that I said that ideally extensions happen because you know if, if none of these waves extend and we only reach the first ideal targets, it's gonna be difficult to get to that 368 level. And if this really is a larger degree fifth wave, well, we want to get to a new all-time high, right? Actually, yes. And uh, I mean, minimally above this third wave high. And my forecast for this cycle has been at least, yeah, you know, one more high. I mean, technically, by breaking above the um, 200, what is that, 210 level, it's it's going to achieve that. But I'm not going to be happy with that, right? It, it would be correct analysis, but still, I would like to see still further upside extensions. And we use basic... Fibonacci guidelines um, that point us into that region up there. That's at least what I can see based on current price action while I record this video. Now, in a few weeks, this might look different. I don't know, but we can only focus on the now based on current price data to understand where the key risk levels are and everything, you know. For now, um, the focus is on higher prices. The green scenario suggests and allows for further extensions. Both are the same wave count, essentially. Just here within the third wave, the subdivisions are different. They differ between the yellow and the green scenario. So what's the difference? Well, in the green scenario, um, the idea is that we have only just started the C wave up. In the yellow count, that C wave could be finished right, right now, right? Maybe we get one more extension to 229, but um, it's pretty much, you know, we're pretty much there as I will show you in a minute on the smaller time frame. But the green scenario indicates that we've really only just started that green wave C. And because in the green count, the A wave is longer, the C wave is expected to be longer as well. That's one of these Fibonacci guidelines that a C wave tends to have the same length at least as the A wave. And that would lead to an extended third wave overall, right? That's why I show you the entire Fibonacci ladder there so that you have all the levels available, um, you know, that you can watch them, you can observe them. Uh, you can even make the chart your own as a as a silver or gold member. You can get the the trading view chart link. You can copy it, and whatever, and then you change it. That's up to you then. Um, but then you can 
can check the chart in your own time, right? Zoom in, zoom out, and so on. Um, I think we should now take a look at the shorter time frame. So I think overall, you know, it's it's clear. Of course, you know, this structure could break down. I mean, before we go to the one hour, you know, of course, this structure could break down. But that's why we are watching every day the one hour time frame, the shorter time frame chart. So before we go to the one hour chart, quick, quick info, quick reminder. Yesterday, you guys voted for a coin for me to update only on Twitter on X and it was Casper. No, not Casper. I did say that in the Bitcoin video as well. Sorry. It's injective. Casper was covered in our gold membership today. No, injective. Um, so I know a lot of people are interested in injective. So if you are, check it out. It's over there on Twitter. Also for additional updates, feel free to follow us there. Link is in the description. Solana short term chart. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, we could get one more high. In yellow wave five, this is the one hour chart and this wave count is now officially full. So the yellow count is officially full. We have this third wave that I just showed you on the larger time frame here. It's 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 technically complete. Yep, this internal fifth might extend, but we, we have five waves up in wave five of C of three. It's all, you know, pretty full. So that means this fourth wave could now start, but I need some kind of a break of support. And the first signal that this fourth wave is starting would be a break below 194.50. And um, then we will first watch, yeah, then we will observe these support areas, right? I mean, that's, at the moment, the trend is still up, direct. Directly, you know, we could still extend higher. We're forming higher highs, higher lows, everything. But only a break below 194.50 will make me focus on these support regions. And in the green scenario, that's a one, two setup and we could go higher directly in wave C of three in this extended third wave we discussed. Whereas in the yellow scenario, we could be in a larger wave four and um, the support regions at the moment, they are only there for orientation. If the price forms one more high before we start a pullback, then these will have to be adjusted accordingly. That's the update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Every Sunday we run our member live stream. We're gonna do that today at 5 p.m. UTC. So roughly four and a half hours from now, if you're interested in joining to talk about how to structure a proper trading plan, uh, if you wanna talk about certain coins, we'll do all of that. We'll have a conversation in our live stream. Um, you can check out the membership uh, options. Links are in the description. And then also don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional updates. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.